Hey guys, Von Baden here. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps. What it takes to make one of these pads that doesn't have stuff all over it. Pardon me on that one. But, I'm going to take you on the steps on making a close-up pad. Performance table. Stuff like that. So, stay tuned. Back. Like I said, I'm going to talk about close-up pads here and how I went about making mine. And sorry, itchy back. So, uh, like I said, if you follow me on Facebook, you've heard some of these. Watch my other videos, you've heard some of what I'm about to say. But I've had close-up pads that were not the best quality, cheap made, and they just, they feel horrible. It's, it's really bad. You get stuff on them and it doesn't come off. And it's bad. Um, this was a cheap one. But it never really fit who I am either. So, it just, I didn't like it. So then you get more expensive one. ones. And this one is very nice quality. Made beautiful. But was way too small. So then I did this back and forth of, you know, buying expensive ones. And they're too small or they just, they weren't me buying cheap ones they're okay, but it's not me, and it feels horrible, so I decided to go and do what I know how to do, which is make stuff that fits me, birds again, sorry about that, so what this video is, is me going to walk you through basically what I did, now, I went out and got some foam. This is like quarter inch foam. Uh, this was, I want to say 20, maybe $30, but there was a whole lot of it. A whole lot of this. There was, I want to say four feet of it. I might be wrong on that, but I got that. I also got some upholstery velvet because it felt really nice, and I'll show you that in a second. And the other thing I got was a quarter inch thick board that was going to be the bottom base of my table. So, put all those together and you get this. Now, this, I love that Feel, even though there's dust and the birds are probably going to talk through this whole video so I do apologize for that anyways so and I'm bouncing the camera I am bombarding the bouncer awesome so I took the foam did two layers of it and I glued them together onto one another and then glued them onto close-up pad. Now, I also took the patches, sorry about the bounce again, I can't really do anything about it because I'm bouncing the table that all of this is sitting on right now, but I took the patches that I made with the embroidery and sewed those on here and on here and there. And then I took This is going to be a side of the board that no one ever sees. Because this will, when it's all said and done, be built into there. I'm sorry, I tried. So this will be the side that's underneath and no one will ever see it anyways. But 
you take your foam, depending on how many layers you're doing, you glue those together. I took mine and I went further than the board, the edges of the board, so I didn't have uh, the wood rubbing on the upholstery uh, velvet and wearing holes through it, so I made sure that there was cushion on all four sides. And then I'll build a, ta a table that will accommodate all that. This board, like I said, is a quarter inch thick and it's two foot by two foot. So I've got plenty of room for coins across, which was something that I couldn't really do. I could do on the blue mat, but like I said, I didn't like the feel of it. It looks cheap. It was cheap. It was falling apart. So, you know, you don't want to do that. So my advice to anyone is make something like a close-up table or a pad or whatever that fits my goodness excuse me got the hiccups and whatnot um build something that fits you and will accommodate what you want to do like i said those won't let me do the the coins cross you know got very short movements this I can do bigger movements of coins moving around and stuff like that so just my little rant and spin on this so hopefully you enjoyed this video if so stay tuned to the very end I have a stress I have a special if I can learn how to talk I have a special message to you guys and I would like to thank you all for staying with us. We're here. We like we like it when you guys hang out with us. Ain't that right? All right. Anyways, enough of all that nonsense. So, anyways, long enough video. You guys have a great one, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.